Hello everyone, so today we will talk about, about the meaning of the Hamilton equations. So in the last video, we actually derived the Hamilton equations, but we didn't get a chance to talk, to talk much about the meaning of those equations. So first of all, we know that the Hamiltonian is just P Q dot minus L, where L is the Lagrangian. And this might right now seem like a strange object to you, but in this video, we are going to go over what this Hamiltonian actually means, as well as the Hamilton equations. So, the Lagrangian for most classical systems that we we'll, that we will be dealing with is equal to the kin kinetic energy plus the plus sorry not plus minus the potential energy of our system. This means that our Hamiltonian is going to then be p q dot minus T minus V. Now our, our formula for the kinetic energy is just one half M Q dot squared, then minus V. And then P is just defined as partial L over partial Q dot, since P is the generalized momentum. So, so then times Q dot minus one half M Q dot squared minus V is a Hamiltonian. So now, now we have to find what the formula for the generalized momentum is for our Lagrangian. So, th so this is going to be equal to partial over partial Q dot of one half M Q dot squared minus V. And that's just going to give us M Q dot. So, so this means that our Hamiltonian is going to be m q dot times q dot, such as m q dot squared, minus one half m q dot squared minus v. So we have m q dot squared minus one half m q dot squared plus v. This is going to be one half m q dot squared plus V, and that's our Hamiltonian. So to make to make this in more uh, specific terms, we can, we can substitute Q dot for just V, since Q dot is going to be V for, um, like that's what it's, because since the generalized position, position dot, it's just going to be, it's gonna, it's gonna be the degenerate velocity, right? So you have the H equals one half MV squared plus v, which will generally be a function of x. And this is just this is just the formula for energy, right? Since energy is just the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. So we found that our Hamiltonian P Q dot minus L is really just going to be our energy for most classical systems. It won't always be the energy, since, since our Lagrangian will always be T minus V. But when our Lagrangian is T minus V, our Hamiltonian is just the same thing as the energy of our system. So hopefully we demystify the, demystify the Hamiltonian a tad bit. Now what about, what about the Hamilton equations? The Hamilton e equations are the derivative of momentum equals minus partial H over partial q and dx over dt so not dx well technically dx but the q over dt our generalized velocity is going to equal um, partial h over partial p over partial p so let's find out what this is going to be equal to so since our our hamiltonian is going to be our energy this means that dp over dt equals minus partial over, over partial q of one half m q dot squared plus v, which is going to equal minus partial v over partial q. And if you are already familiar with conservative forces, you'll see that this is just the equation for a conservative force. Let's move the minus sign over here. Let's, let's just re rewrite this whole thing to make it a bit more clear. So we have the dp over dt equals minus partial v over partial 
cube. So this is just, just the, the formula, the equation for a conservative force. Since dp over dt is just f, then we have minus partial v over, over partial, partial q. We can change q to be x to be the more familiar position. And it looks perfectly normal to us now. So the first Hamilton equation is just a formula for a conservative force. And the second one, I'll let, I'll, I'll let you guys solve that one for yourself. Just just repeat repeat the same steps that I did in this video. So hopefully the Hamilton equations look more f familiar to you guys and you guys get are more comfortable with using them. All the all the all the Hamiltonian means is just the energy for most classical systems. And the first Hamilton equ equations is just the formula for a, a conservative force. So thanks for watching and have a great day.